What's up guys? It's Ree and it's Al. It's Ree and Al. We're back with another video today. You want to make a change in your life. Where do you start? Ree and Al are about to help you with some of our recommendations and some stuff from our experience that helps us. And every day we look at what can we change? What do we want to change? How did we change our lives? Both of us lost over 100 pounds each. And we are so much happier and healthier beings internally and externally. So to start it off, I'll say one very profound statement. You are not stuck. You are not a tree. Move. <laughs> you can move and you can change. And all it takes is the decision to start. So let's get started. Yes. Okay, so one of the first things that you need to do is identify what you want to change in your life and write it down. Write down what you want to change and write down your goals. That could be goals one week from now, two weeks from now, two years from now. Write it down. Just get it out there. Think big, don't think small because no matter what, if you're, if you're going to go through this process, you will achieve your goals. And so you want to set your goals high. You want them to be uh, not extravagant, not extreme, but then you want them to be, to be push, push goals, not just like, oh yeah, like, you know, I want to drink water today. Check, like, That's challenge goal. yourself. Good goal. Push yourself. Also, make them your own goals. Don't worry about what anybody else is doing. Even between, like, Alex and I, like, we don't have the same goals. Like, we have some of the same goals. But don't worry about what she thinks or what he thinks about your goals or if they're good or bad. They're not their goals. They're your goals. Yeah. Be yourself and have it. It's your goal. Like, you are starting to change your life. Nobody else's life, nobody else is impacting you, and it shouldn't impact your goal and your decision to change whatever you want to change in your life, whether that be one thing or three things. It's your choice. All right, <laughs> the next thing that is so important that you need to do is you need to figure out your why. And when you figure out your why, you need to look at the goals that you set and it's whether it's you wanna, it's fitness goals or life goals or whatever it is, those are kind of like the starting point, but then you need to figure out what those goals are going to do for you and why you want to achieve them. Don't think that by achieving these goals, you're going to suddenly become happy right. or you're like something's gonna happen. It's not like that and you have to really figure out your why to really help help you achieve the goals, but to help you achieve the underlying purpose for, for why you want to change. So and you really, that will create, once you like realize that, that creates your true happiness. Right. Right. So you really have to be honest with yourself. You have to dig deep. You have to go beyond the surface level. You can't like for, I'll give you an example. Like, um, okay. Like I want to lose a hundred pounds. Like why? Well, like I'm sick of being fat. Okay, great. Well, what about being fat is like not fun for you or whatever. Like I'm using my own example, Yeah. but like, well, it's uncomfortable to do anything that I like to do. I like to go to concerts. I like to go, um, you know, what I, just, we'll say that I like to go to concerts and it's we really, couldn't even sit next to each other. Yeah. And it's like, and it's uncomfortable, but like, I like to go to concerts because like, I like music and that makes me happy. And like, and, and then you can kind of just like spider web it from there because yeah. it's like, there's so many things. And then you can really figure out like, like for us, it was like, like having the extra weight and like living the life that we were living was keeping us from doing the things that truly make us happy. Going to concerts, going on hikes, going to the mountains, working out, doing Tough Mudders, like doing like, you know, playing tennis, playing golf, being active. It was holding us back from that. And that was our why. And that is why we have been successful in making the changes is because we really dug deep and figured out the why and we weren't just in it to lose weight. Right. So next would be to actually sit down and make a plan with yourself. Figure out how you're going to achieve those goals. The biggest thing is, I heard this on a podcast and it was awesome, but it was that this, it's the start that stops most people. And so don't be afraid. Like you don't have to have the perfect plan. This is right. something and that just like- just sitting down and, and doing it yeah. helps is something. Enough. Yeah. yeah. I've always been like, I want it to be perfect before I start it, but I've really done a really good job yeah. in work and in, per, in, in personal life of just like getting the plan into a point where it's like, okay, it's good enough that I can start, start moving on the plan. And you can always adjust as you go. Right. You don't, you're not stuck with this plan. Like you can go and you can see what works and doesn't work and you adjust along the way and you learn. So don't be afraid of 
like choosing the wrong plan or you know what I mean? Like just, just do something. You have to do something. And then from there you can, you can kind of move, move the dice. And if you really are move the dice, I don't know what that was. If you really are struggling with somewhere to start, reach out to professionals, reach out to nutritionists, reach out to uh, a psychologist, reach out to whoever Trainers, you might need to, a trainer, a um, boss, an old friend. Yeah. Make a plan. 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 Or something. Just some, do something. Start. Do something. Know. I want dinner. So as part of making a plan, you need to set your goals and set timelines for those goals, kind of like we talked about in the beginning, um, as far as like what are your goals and what do you want to change in your life. But, but making them more specific. Actually, at this exactly point. making them specific and measurable with time frames attached to them. Like oh, like. Within one year, I want to be able to do, you know, a 5K and I want to go to the gym four days a week and work on my strength training or work on my endurance and actually like have a time frame so that you have something or like sign up for a Tough Mudder or sign up for a virtual 5K and then have that be like your end timeline as far as when that race is. Yep. The next is working on your sources of motivation. So. <laughs> We just talked about this in our last video, so yes. I will link that for you to watch about how we stay motivated. So it's really important to understand that when you make that first step and you're doing all this and you're deciding that you want to change, your motivation is probably a little bit high and it's and you're excited and you want to do this and you're ready to do this and you're, you're, you're ready to finally, you know, stick to it this time. Your motivation is high and that is fantastic and you need to ride that as long as you can. But you need to also understand that motivation is like a roller coaster and it dips and ebbs and flows. So you need to create sources of motivation that you can draw back to when motivation is low. So right. check out the video for um, our tips on that. Um, but it's just something that you need to keep in mind when you are starting. Mm -hmm. As well as accountability tools um, along your journey. So up front, you need to have like your sources of motivation ready to roll. You also need to have your accountability tools ready to roll in your tool belt. Right. If you will. Right. As referred to our last video. As far as who keeps you accountable, yourself, number one, and like the most important is yourself keeps you accountable. Right. And you know if you like went to Dairy Queen and had a blizzard, like you know that you messed up your goals and your trajectory for your plan. Nobody else. However, it's also important to have those accountability partners like sister, family, spouse, trainer, nutritionist that you go to like once a week. And that way you have pro uh, uh, progress tracking. Yeah. Did, what did you have thoughts on that? No, you covered it. You covered all of it. I don't, I don't how I was trying, how? I was trying to do when, how? when you finished talking about a point, I tried not to add anything onto it because yeah. nothing that I would say would be any different than what you'd say. It would just be saying oh it in a different way. So I, was like, so I was like, just move on to the next point. Like we are done with point. The last and one of the most important things to kind of prepare yourself for when you want to start a new journey or process or change is to mentally prepare yourself for the good, the bad, and the ugly. It's nothing that you ever encounter in life. No journey, no path, no track, no anything is going to be perfectly smooth and straight. And change your mindset because you shouldn't want it to be. Because Whoa! If profound statements. Profound statements. If you don't have the lows, like what are the highs? Like then, then then nothing nothing's worth it. When you hit a goal, it's like there it, it's just like you you never feel like low. So like without the lows, there wouldn't be the highs. So understand that that applies to this as well. So you're gonna have hard days. You're gonna have plateaus. There's gonna be times where it's hard. You're gonna feel like quitting or giving up. But just fall back into the tools that you've created for yourself and fall back into your why. And look at how far you've come so far. Yeah. Even just deciding to start is it's so huge. much progress yeah. compared to where you were before. Right. So just prepare yourself for the fact that it's not going to be perfect. It's not always going to be glamorous. It's going to be hard. It should be hard. And just to enjoy all of the goods and the bads because that's what make the process great. And that's what I never understood when it was like, love the process, enjoy the journey. Yeah. That's where the gratification yeah. comes from. The gratification doesn't come from hitting the goal. The gratification comes from pushing through those hard days, showing up when you don't want to, 
uh, you know what I mean? Like that's where that's where the happiness comes from, and that's what loving the journey means. And it's so, the weirdest thing until you experience it. Yeah. So go start. Go change your life. Tell us what are you looking to change in your life. How can we help? Let us know how our journey maybe has helped you. Hopefully. Uh, start something. <laughs> yeah. And uh, thank you for watching our entire video with the most minimal fights that we could possibly have. Because I decided to shut my mouth. And meanwhile, <laughs> make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Like this video, subscribe to our channel. Keep watching and stay tuned for more motivational health and fitness videos and more stories about what we eat and how we changed our lives.